Just myself. Hi friends, it's Michelle Ladd from National Veteran Resources again today. I am with so many veterans today <laughs> and uh, whew, it's been a whirlwind. So today I have the honor and pleasure to introduce you to Jeremy Matherly. And Jeremy and I were Facebook friends. I heard about what he does with Mission 22 and I told him if I get to this area in Texas, I'm going to come and see him. So I actually got to come and meet Jeremy. Yes. And uh, super excited. <laughs> he took really good care of me. Um, I told him I needed a place to stay for a few days. He got me hooked up at Lancer Legacy Ranch. I've had a great time here. I head out tomorrow. And so Jeremy, Jeremy and I have uh, talked a little bit about what he does for Mission 22, and I didn't even know half of what he does. So, Jeremy, I would uh, say hello. Hello. Say hello. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> and so, uh, Jeremy's a veteran. He served our country. He served more than six years. So, thank you so much for your services. Absolutely. To our country. And I am finding so many of these uh, people that work in these organizations are volunteers and that just blows my mind. They have mostly have full-time jobs and they put their heart and soul and hard work into helping uh, raise awareness to their organizations and to their missions. And so I was just chatting with Jeremy about what he does for Mission 22. So Jeremy, I would like you to share with our audience how you started in Mission 22. I know I already asked you that <laughs> question, and this is going to be a duplicate of what you've already told me. Uh, I got started, uh, well, first of all, I'll tell you what Mission 22 is. Mission 22 is a nonprofit organization fighting to end veteran suicide. Um, mm -hmm. Every day, 20 plus veterans will commit suicide due to uh, PTS and TBI related injuries from coming home from war. Um, I got started, uh, like, like uh, Michelle said, I'm a veteran. Um, my wife's a veteran. Uh, my entire family are veterans. She's at work. Tell her. So I was gonna try to get her to come name? out. Uh, Christy. Christy, thank you for your services. Um, so I got involved because I love my country. I love helping others. Um, I also run an international Mustang Car Club called Mustang Syndicate U.S. And we formed that club to better our communities that each one of us live in. So what better way to get involved to help not only our communities, but our veterans. Um, so I signed up to be an ambassador with Mission 22. Um, I was accepted. I started doing uh, events in and around Sulphur Springs, Texas, which is where I was at the time. Um, then I got, I met Herschel Schultz, who at the time was the Region 6 leader with Mission 22. Um, he's real big into the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and had a match, match coming up April of last year, I believe it was. Uh, down in the Houston, Texas area, and I wanted to go see him. So uh, we packed up, and several of us went down there, and his wife needed to take video of his mat, so I ran his Mission 22 uh, merchandise table and took care of his donations and selling Mission 22 merchandise. Mm -hmm. So from there, uh, about two or three months later, um, I signed up and, at the request of Herschel to become one of the Texas uh, co-state leaders. Uh, I got that, and that lasted, I've been there, I had that position for about a year, and uh, due to injuries, Herschel needed to step away to take care of both his health and his family, um, and he recommended that I take over his spot as the Region 6 leader of Mission 22. Um, so again, I, I applied for that, and I did get that, so now I cover New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Um, That's crazy. It is. <laughs> it's fun. I love what I do. Um, I incorporate my car club and a lot of how I raise the awareness. Uh, most of the folks out there, at least in Texas, if they see my car, they know who it is and why I do it. Um, it raises awareness. It, any veteran that sees it, I was telling Michelle a story about uh, my family just moved to Texarkana. I think we've been here a little over a month. And uh, a buddy of mine, we did his car, almost just like mine. But he's got lime green, and we were trying to get out of our parking lot, and we got stopped at a red light. And what we know now was a veteran in a truck was honking at us and waving at us, and we thought he just wanted some space so he could cut through the parking lot and get across from us. 
But the light turned green, so we went ahead and we went about a mile down the road and pulled into the Hobby Lobby uh, parking lot, and he followed us. It wasn't very far, but he followed us. Come to find out, he had seen the 22 a day on the side of the cars, and he being a veteran himself, it, it struck something in his head to follow us and learn more about us and what we do and why we do it. And that's uh, just what we do. We do, we go, I travel Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, clear down to where Herschel has in Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, it's strictly volunteer, but it makes my heart happy to be able to help others, and I'll continue to do it. I hear so many of the volunteers in these organizations that spend hours and hours and travel as far as you do. And David Wood, I know you're going to be seeing this. Um, love you, brother. We love you. I'm going to come and see you again when it gets cold. Um, Tammy Naka, thank you for telling me about Mission 22. Tammy was instrumental, and that's how I actually uh, met you. Uh, we're at Lancer Legacy Ranch today. Yes. Um, I just did a 20-minute video, and of course I had a problem with my <laughs> stupid camera, so I'll post that a little later. And um, I don't know if you can see what people are saying. We're doing live yes. Facebook, and uh, I can't see a thing. So and I see, hey, Raven, Larry, Raven. Brian. Hi guys, hi Raven, Larry, Brian. So, um, just I I know a lot about Mission Twenty Two. Can you tell our audience um, a couple of the programs that Mission Twenty Two does for veterans? I was quite impressed. Uh, the big things that we have are our major asset. I feel for Mission Twenty Two is their ambassador program. Um, that is how an organization that's in one state, that's where their headquarters is, is able to branch out and raise the awareness and make the general public aware of the daily battles of that the veterans face. Um, it allows them to reach a whole lot more veterans so that the veterans know that they can turn to Mission 22 because all the programs that Mission 22 has to offer the veterans to help with their PTS is fully free to all veterans. Mission 22 does cover those costs. Um, they have equine therapy with the, the horses. They do. They're real big into the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We have tons and tons of gyms that partner with us. Um, we have our Win program. That's a 12-month long program for veterans. That's uh, it's a Mission 22 only program. It's their program. We just Mission 22 is all about bringing that 22 a day to zero. And, as you know, my operation is called Operation 22 to Zero. And um, so many of us are trying to help save so many lives. That's what it's all about. And we come from all walks of life. Um, we all have different talents and skills. And if you could share this video, um, Jeremy is in the five states that you mentioned if anybody was interested in uh, the ambassador program or is a veteran and wanted more information in your area how could they reach you uh, if anybody would like it doesn't matter if you're in one of my five states if you're anywhere in the u.s you can go to www.mission22.com backslash hashtag our cause um, you can purchase merchandise there if you're a veteran looking for services and you need help uh, there's, there's all those links are going to be in the top right hand corner um, the, you can click on join if you'd like to be an ambassador. Uh, you fill out a short application and somebody will usually email you within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, same if you're needing services. Um, we need help everywhere. Uh, this, this epidemic that's taking the lives of our veterans is huge and we need to nip it in the bud quick. Really? Hey Larry, love you too brother. <laughs> Hi Larry. Um, I actually wear my Mission 22 bracelet. Um, I'm sharing their resources. You guys, our message is please, please don't be alone. You are not alone. There are so many organizations out there and that's why I've created NationalVeteranResources.com. Mission 22 is listed under Veteran Resources. You can go right to my website. Um, 
Is there anything else you want to share about the services that are provided by Mission 22 or even a message to the veterans out there? I just want to say to all veterans, don't think you're alone. There's tons of us veterans. There's civilians out there. We love you. You're never alone. Uh, you reach out to Mission 22. There's tons and tons of other organizations out there. It doesn't have to be Miss Mission 22. You can call me. Look me up on Facebook. I'll do everything I can to help you. I'll get you in the right place. And it doesn't matter what state you're in. That's what we're here for. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Tell them to share our page, our post. Share this video. All Mustang Syndicate U.S. people, share this video. <laughs> Love you all. Love you. God bless. Thank you for all the prayers and support, guys. It keeps me going. See you Take guys care. next time. See you next time. Bye.